Hey guys, welcome to MLO. Today in this video we are going to look at the top 10 fastest super bikes around the world. Let's start the video. Number 10. 2007 MV Agusta F4CC. Top speed 195 miles per hour, which is equals to 314 kilometers per hour. Companies that make motorcycles and cars rarely name their machines after people. It brings a lot of unnecessary risk to live up to its namesake. For the MV Agusta F4CC, the motorcycle was named after the late Claudio Castiglione, who was MV Agusta's managing director. While 2007 may not seem like it was that long ago, things in the motorcycle industry have changed drastically over 14 years, which makes the F4CC's 195 miles per hour top speed even more impressive. The F4CC uses a 1078cc inline 4 that produces about 200 horsepower and 92 pound feet of torque. Power is only one part of the go fast equation, with MV Agusta relying on exotic materials, at least for the time, to keep weight down. Carbon fiber fairings and lightweight aluminum wheels meant the F4CC weighed just 413 pounds. This superbike from 2007 cost $120,000. Number 9. 2020 Aprilia RSV4 1100 Factory. Top speed 199 miles per hour, which is equals to 320 kilometers per hour. Very few riders would request more power or performance after riding the Aprilia RSV4, but for those that believe one can never have too much, there's the RSV4 1100 factory. It's the lightest, fastest, and most powerful RSV4 in Aprilia's lineup. The way to do that includes using a large amount of carbon fiber, having aerodynamic body fairings that come straight from MotoGP, and high-tech riding systems. Of course, Aprilia used a firecracker of an engine, the RSV4 1100 factory comes with a 1077cc V4 engine that makes roughly 217 horsepower and 90 pound-feet of torque. With that kind of power and a relatively low wet weight of 439 pounds, the RSV4 1100 factory goes like an Italian missile in a straight line. Number 8. 2020 Ducati Panigale V4R. Top speed 199 miles per hour, which is 320 kilometers per hour. Take a look at the Ducati Panigale V4R and you'll notice the bare aluminum tank. It may seem out of place to the rest of the motorcycle's sculpted body, but it's a hallmark trait that's found on other homologation specials from Ducati. That feature reveals just how serious Ducati is about the motorcycle's performance. Power for the Panigale V4R comes from a 998cc V4 engine that makes up to 234 horsepower with the available racing kit. The latter brings the motorcycle's weight down to a slim 365 pounds, giving the bike a power-to-weight ratio of 1.41. With that kind of performance, aerodynamics plays a large role in getting the bike to 199 miles per hour. The available aerodynamic package brings a design that looks similar to something from Star Wars, but it helps the bike flow through the air. Number 7. Damon Motorcycles Hypersport Premier. Top speed 200 miles per hour, which is equals to 322 kilometers per hour. Damon Motorcycles Hypersport Premier isn't on sale yet, but the company is claiming some impressive figures. Someone at the company must be obsessed with the number 200, because that's how much horsepower and range the motorcycle has. It's also the bike's claimed top speed. That's right, the Hypersport Premier is an all-electric motorcycle with power coming from a 150 kilowatt pack and energy being stored in a 20 kilowatt hour battery pack. Beyond its impressive top speed, the Hypersport Premier impresses because of its high-tech features. The motorcycle has a 360-degree radar system called Copilot that helps keep the rider safe by providing alerts on nearby obstacles. Number 6. Ducati Superleggera V4. Top speed, 200 miles per hour, which is equals to 322 kilometers per hour. Ducati may not have the fastest motorcycle on the market, but the Italian mark makes some of the most exotic bikes available. The Ducati Superleggera V4, 
according to the brand, is the most powerful and technologically advanced motorcycle from the brand. The 998cc V4 engine produces 234 horsepower, which is a mighty amount for the carbon fiber heavy body, which weighs just 335.5 pounds with the available racing kit. This isn't the first time Ducati has used the Superleggera name for a motorcycle. The word means super light and perfectly describes the V4. Beneath the carbon fiber bodywork, the motorcycle features a carbon fiber subframe, wheels mainframe, and swing arm. Ducati was so serious about cutting weight that it uses titanium bolts in the V4 Superleggera. Number 5. 2021 Kawasaki Ninja H2. Top speed 209 miles per hour, which is equals to 336 kilometers per hour. As much as we love the track only Kawasaki Ninja H2R, the track only part of the motorcycle is a bummer. For riders that have no intention of going to the track but still want one of the fastest bikes ever made, there's the H2. Kawasaki stunned the world when it introduced the supercharged H2 in 2015, as it was one of the first motorcycles on the market to use forced induction in decades. The supercharged four-cylinder engine in the Ninja H2 produces roughly 220 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque, which are mega figures for a motorcycle. While the Ninja H2's engine is certainly unique, the motorcycle also features a MotoGP-style dog ring transmission that allows for contactless quick upshifts for blistering acceleration. Number 4. 2020 Lightning LS218. Top speed 218 miles per hour, which is equals to 350 kilometers per hour. Electric motorcycles haven't gained a lot of traction yet, but Lightning has been looking to change that for over a decade. The company has come a long way since its first electric bike in 2006 and now sells the Lightning LS218, which is the fastest electric motorcycle on sale. The green bike has a top speed of 218 miles per hour, thanks to a 200 electric horses. If you're unsure of Lightning's place as a high-performance motorcycle company, it brought one of its electric bikes to the legendary Pikes Peak Hill Climb in 2013. Around the 12.42-mile course, racer Carlin Dunn managed to set a time of 10.694, not only winning the electric category but also beating other gas-powered motorcycles. So the LS218 comes from a company that knows what it's doing. Number 3. 2021 Kawasaki Ninja H2R. Top speed 249 miles per hour, which is equals to 400.7 kilometers per hour. Without the need to meet any road restrictions, the H2R looks like an extraterrestrial spacecraft and flies down a track like one too. The supercharged inline 4 puts out a claimed 326 horsepower and 122 pound-feet of torque, good enough to nip at the heels of 250 miles per hour flat out. The H2R may be blindingly fast, but it's also built to demolish racetracks. To help riders put down quick lap times, the H2R comes with Kawasaki's cornering management function, traction control system, launch control, engine brake control, and quick shifter. The fully adjustable suspension, MotoGP-inspired transmission, and slick Bridgestone tires also help the H2R outperform nearly every other motorcycle on a track. Number 2. 2000 MTTY 2K Superbike. Top speed 250 miles per hour, which is equals to 402 kilometers per hour. MTTY 2K Superbike is a turbine-powered motorcycle on the market. Powered by a Rolls-Royce Allison model 250C18 gas turbine engine, the MTTY 2K Superbike boasted 320 horsepower and 425 pound-feet of torque. At one point, it was the most powerful motorcycle on sale. Despite the turbine engine, the Y2K Superbike tipped the scales at only 460 pounds. Its light body and aerodynamic design meant the Y2K Superbike glided through the air and onto a top speed of 250 miles per hour. MTT gave owners a guarantee that the Y2K Superbike would hit 250 miles per hour. In addition to its insanely high top speed, the Y2K held two records from Guinness World Records. The most expensive production motorcycle on sale and the most powerful production motorcycle. Number 1. 2017 MTT 420RR. 
top speed 273 miles per hour, which is equal to 439 kilometers per hour. Instead of a traditional internal combustion engine, the 420RR utilizes a gas turbine engine. If any of those motorcycles we drew as kids made it into production, they would be as crazy as the 420RR. The Rolls-Royce Allison 250C20 series gas turbine engine produces a monstrous 420 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. A ludicrous figure for a bike. In addition to the gas turbine engine, the 420RR has lightweight carbon fiber fairings, light 17-inch carbon fiber wheels, and an aluminum alloy frame. In case you were wondering, the RR part of the 420RR's name stands for race ready, which the motorcycle certainly is. These are the top 10 fastest superbike around the world till now. If I have missed some name or done some mistake, please do let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video, till then bye bye.